from the look of the game, the game looks really good for a zombie game. Like, if you're, like, an avid zombie game player like me, like, other than, like, some of, like, the Resident Evil games, you know that, like, the zombie games, for some reason, graphic-wise, don't get a lot of attention as a lot of other games. This game is made by Valve. They're really well known, and of course they made games like Counter Strike, Half Life, and I think for like a zombie game, I think they really paid really good attention to it. I mean, graphically wise. I mean, it does have its quirks or whatever. Like there is, I mean, there's a few glitches where like you, you can like see through some of like the other characters, but other than that, the game is really good. We're like black graphically wise and sound wise. Other than the campaign mode, there is a versus mode. And this is a really cool mode. I really didn't know if I would enjoy it that much to tell you the truth, but I actually really enjoyed it. Um versus mode basically plays through the campaign, but it's like an eight player, um, multiplayer version of the campaign where you can have um, up to four people playing as the survivors, and you can have up to four people playing as the um, zombie villains. The zombie villains are actually, I think, the more fun thing to play in versus mode. You can play as the boomer and vomit on people. Um, you can play as the hunter and like scratch people's eyes out. You can play as a smoker and like freaking string people up with your tongue. Or you can play as a tank, and the tank is the best one to be. Because you almost feel invincible when you're running through, like, zombies and smashing through cars. And you can pick up, like, a boulder and throw it at somebody. It's like, you have this huge, huge life bar. And it takes a long time to kill you. And you can, you can, you can wreck so much havoc as a tank. And, like, you, that's when you rack up the most points. Because it does go on, like, a scoring system. Basically, um, it takes as much, I guess havoc or like HP that you've drained from your teammates and then it racks it up as a score. Cool features that I like in this game is that when you're playing online and you're playing a campaign with three other people you can actually take a break and what that means is that when you go to your menu and you can take a break that means that your player will take over, like a computer player will take over like your player and play for you. That way it won't like make other people wait while you're going to eat a sandwich or like it won't make you stand idle and get killed and like ruin the entire game so everyone loses. So that's a really cool feature that they added to the game. You actually may need to take a break from this game quite a few times because it's so intense that like it gets like you so riled up you like need to take like 10 minutes away from it and like take a breather. You can also play split screen in this game. Split screen co-op is something that for some reason other shooters like to leave out. I don't know why, but Valve was smart and they added a split screen to this one. So you can play with a friend sitting next to you and play online at the same time or you can just play with them and play offline campaign. Another thing you can do is call a vote. What that means is while you're playing online with your friends and you're playing on this level and you have it on like expert if you really think you're that good. Well, if it's too hard for you, you can actually call a vote to take the difficulty level down. You can also call a vote to kick out this really like annoying teammate, which, you know, unless you're playing with your friends, you get stuck with like a random annoying person. You can just kick them out. Call a vote, kick them out. Um, also, you can like call a vote to like start the campaign over if you need, think you can do it a different way, which is pretty cool. Other cool things about this game are the achievements. Um, I've gotten, the achievements that I've, I've gotten are uh, Brain Salad, that's 100 headshots to zombies, which is really cool. Got the Pyrotechnician, which is like blowing up 20 zombies with an explosive. And I got the Towering Inferno, which is you basically burning a tank with a Molotov cocktail. That's the way to do it, I'm telling you. Other things that like I am going to aim for for the achievements, but they're pretty pretty difficult. There's an achievement called Zombie Genocidus. It's like killing 53,000 
595 zombies. It reminds me of, of the Dead Rising zombie genocider one, too. I don't know, maybe that's where they got it, where they got it from. I don't know, but I'm going to aim for that one. That's pretty, really, that's pretty cool. Another one that I think it's pretty insane to get, if you're going to get this, like, I would be playing with you. <laughs> because it's called in touch, Untouchable. And what this achievement is, is that means that none of your survivors can take any damage after you call for help on the last level. Now, if you played this game, you know what I'm talking about. At the last level, you call for your rescue vehicle. There's like 20,000 hordes of zombies coming towards you. There's like three tanks. There's hunters like jumping at you. There's smokers just grabbing people and taking them off. Like, this is like such an insane level. And I would play this on normal. I haven't even touched event or expert yet. So, this is one of those achievements that it's going to be pretty difficult to get, but I want to be playing with you if you get this achievement. That pretty much covers it. The game sounds great. It plays great. It, it's a really cool storyline, even though it's like the basic zombie movie storyline. And it's fun to do over and over and over again. No matter how repetitive this game may seem, because you're basically just shooting zombies, the game actually changes like the scenarios for you. Like every time you play the game, it's never going to be the same. That's the cool part about it. So it has really good replay value, and it's fun and scary. So I give this game like a 10 out of 10. Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm a zombie lover. But it's okay, because zombies are awesome, and they have brains that's better. Anyway, I say go get this game, because it's great. And if you see me on, my gamer tag is Chickamongus, with the eggs on the ends. I've told you this many times. Go get the game, but for dead is awesome. Peace out.